want to ask you, because we had spoken on the program, we've done episodes where we've shown your footage. With uh, Jean-Luc Godard, you have a, an affinity for his material. Could you tell me about, you know, just speak about his influence on your work, visually or in terms uh, of his dialogue? Well, I don't, in terms of his dialogue, in terms of his imagery, I think that's maybe just kind of, that's not the real influence. The real influence is the body of work he's done and what it means and the kind of thinking that goes behind it. The value he places on human life hmm. uh, is different than a lot of other people in the world. And, uh, and that has really always spoken to me hmm. and has influenced the way I conceive of the work I want to do and the way I conceive of characters. The last time we spoke, ten years ago, about Henry Fool, we talked about your sense of humor and whether or not people could laugh at your movies at the wrong places, etc. And I brought up the specter of Godard. Um, do you have any still lasting influences? Maybe Godard, maybe other filmmakers that you're still being influenced by when you feel that you set out to write a script or make a film? Um, I think it's more not like an influence. It's you're having a conversation with mm -hmm. posterity, and you're. you're and, and posterity, I guess, includes the past. Mm. So, um, yeah, I mean, I I look at my work uh, as I'm doing it, and I said, a, a certain part of myself will say, well, what if Picasso saw this? What would he think? You know, <laughs> certainly, what would Godard think? Wow. Uh, he'd be difficult, of course, but that's good. <laughs> but good. that's got to be part of the conversation. Exactly. <laughs> but you know, also, you know, what would Robert Altman think? Oh, you know, what, what would my my sister think? Who, <laughs> you know, only watches films once a year or something. Uh, yeah, so it's more like that. When you've been doing it this long, you don't really catalog what influences mm. you so much. You sort of can't get away from what you your real tendency mm. is. It's very important when you're younger, though, to have influences and to even even to copy them. Mm. Uh, Blatantly. Yeah, yeah, because it's a way of learning. Mm. Um, and of course, you'll never do it just like, unless you're an automaton. But most of us <laughs> have a personality, and that screws everything up. You're trying to do something just like Peck and Paul, but the next thing you know, you've got something that looks like, you know, Bresson. <laughs> like, how did I get from here to here?